You've got to tune to KEXP, listener-powered radio at 90.3 FM in Seattle, streaming at kexp.org. I'm Cheryl Waters, so excited that the biggest sweetheart and goofball oh. in the world is here today. Mac DeMarco, welcome. Thanks for having us, Cheryl. It's so good to hear you. It's good to be back. Yeah, you're, yeah. you are always welcome here. It's fun that you've got two nights in Seattle. I know, ain't that the cutest? Yeah, it yeah. must, must be nice to have a day to chill. Well, if you call this chilling. This is chilling. Excellent. Yeah. You want to chill us out with some new songs? You got a brand new album. Well, not so new. Came out <laughs> the beginning of the year, This Old Dog. That's right. That's right. Are what? you the old dog? Sure, why not? <laughs> he is, actually. It's this guy. <laughs> tinkling the ivories over here. Yeah. Tinkling. Please help me welcome Mac DeMarco <laughs> live on KEXP. Rock and roll. <laughs> Hello. You want another? I sure do. All right, Cheryl. Anything for you. I'd like to dedicate this track to Miss Cheryl Waters over here. And to Mr. Pierce McGarry.
Sometimes my love may be put on hold Sometimes my heart may seem awful cold These times come and these times go As long as I live, all you need to know is This old dog ain't about to forget All we've had and all that's next Long as my heart's beating in my chest This old dog ain't about to forget Often a heart tends to change its mind A new day decides on a new design A new day gets set on another way As long as I live All I've got to say is This old dog Ain't about to forget All we've had And all that's next Long as my heart's beating in my chest This old dog ain't about to forget Andy White Mac DeMarco live on KEXP, the title track from the new album, This Old Dog. It's yeah. so great to see you. I know, I know. It's a, it's a treat. It's a treat. <laughs> I heard you joined us over here on the West Coast. How has life been treating you since we last saw you? Uh, things are good. Live in Los Angeles now. Um, yeah, it's great. Eat a lot of uh, burritos. Probably not good for the figure, but... <laughs> You know, they're into health food in Los Angeles, too. You could go that route. Not this guy. Not that guy. No. Um, when I picture you making your last record, I thought of you. This is my vision. I don't know mm. if it's true. But in a dark, windowless, two foot by two foot <laughs> space. Yeah, pretty much. Locking yeah. yourself up for months on end and just being this crazy mad scientist. And you did everything on your last record. It, that sort of seems to be your stock and trade. What was this record the making of like? Uh, kind of the same, just a different bedroom. Um, <laughs> played everything. Had my uh, a good Australian friend of mine named Shags. He helped me a little bit with the, the tweaking of the mix. But other than that, it's just still, you know. Are you self-taught in recording? Recording, yeah. Uh, 
playing the instruments mostly, yeah, except for this guy a little bit, but I, the whole gamut can't do any of it that well, but I can do it all a little bit, which is good enough, I guess. I don't know. Well enough for sure. I ask because you've been doing this for a while and I think you do a phenomenal job. And I wonder, you. you know, if you're, if you're teaching yourself, you must be learning stuff along the way. Was there any new tricks that you tried here, new gear that you had, you know, new setup? Um, yeah, I mean, I, that's the thing. It's like, I think it's kind of the reason I do it on my own as well is because you get like a certain satisfaction from learning a bit more and buying some new things and new treats and toys. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it, it, I don't know. It's, it's nice. You know, I learned to learn to do it more personal. I can do it in my underwear. <laughs> I don't have to leave the house, you know, uh, you know, it's, it's just, it's just the way I know how to do it. Maybe going to a nice studio could be nice. I don't know. Maybe it would make me feel uncomfortable. Maybe someday I'll find out. Maybe someday I won't. I don't know. Hey, it works for you. It saves a little money as well. Maybe. Yeah. But probably. Uh, who knows? Yeah. Uh, you're such an affable social guy, I, and you have these great friends that you're out on tour with. Is yeah. recording a solitary process? Do you kind of hunker down for a period of time and you're not seeing people, or do you record a little, go out a bit? I mean, what's the actual like period of making a record like? Is it a solitary process? Yeah, I like to stay home. Maybe a month, maybe two months, depends. Um, drive myself a little crazy. I think that's when you get the best stuff, maybe. But maybe not. I don't know. Maybe it's all garbage. I, it's hard for me to say because I'm, I'm in it, you know. But I like to, yeah, I don't know. Just if you got you, something you got to get done, you just do it, you know. Just do it. I don't know. Well, you did a beautiful job on this record. I feel like all your records are really personal. This one seems maybe a little more personal. Your vocals are right out there. I don't know if it's the way that you've written the songs. You have a nice, soft, little jazzy sound, but this one even a little softer. Thank you. And uh, you bring it to life in a very different way uh, with the band. Were you always thinking you'd have a band behind this record, or do you not even think about that when you are making it? I think this time was, I mean, I kind of, yeah, usually, well, before I was like, okay, we got drums, bass, guitar, guitar, vocal, you know, so it's like, okay, we can play it live. This time I didn't think about it that much, but it's been working out, you know, we got the guys here, you guys seem to, you know, we can do it, right? Right? Yes. You can definitely do it. <laughs> yes, yes. We can do it. So it's been fun, yeah, but it's interesting to do it, uh, you know, try, you have to figure it out a little bit more than, than usual, which is nice, I guess, but it's cool. It's fun. And not it's a, cool. Not every band travels with a napper. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're live in the studio with Mac DeMarco playing tonight at the Moore Theater, the new album, This Old Dog. What do you got for us next? What do we have next? Uh, I think we were going to do Dream. Dreams. That's right. Oh, this one's got a little bossa nova vibe. That's right. Let me just tune it up here for you, Cheryl. Mac DeMarco live on KEXP. You know, my grandmother's name is Cheryl as well. Get out. But I think she spells it S-H-E-R-Y-L, right? I do C-H. Oh, C-H. Okay, yeah. sorry, my mistake. She's S-H-E-R-R-I-L-L. -L. So. For, for real? For real. Oh, yeah. okay. For real. Mac, I think your grandma is misspelling her name. Could be, I don't know. <laughs> I like when you say it anyway. That maybe you think of me. Maybe you think of your grandma. Okay, the song is called Dreams from Yesterday. We're here live on... Expa. Dreaming any 
anymore Once your life Is set to settle down Take a look around you No more dreaming to be found So why then Crying. It was you who denied them, and no amount of tears could roll back all the years, bring back all your dreams. Got Alec Mean on the piano. Set up a closer look reveals just how empty you can feel. Once a dream is finally put to bed, rest up, sleepy head. will be dead So why then Are you crying It was you Who denied them And no amount of tears Roll back all the years Bring back all your dreams From yesterday Bellissimo Nice Ah, Bellissimo was right. That sounded <laughs> nice. Thank you. That was Very fun. swanky. Yeah. You bring the songs to life with this beautiful band, and I know you play them all in studio, and I got a vision of you just sitting there at home in your underwear, clacking the sticks. That's right. Getting that on tape. Oh, yeah. Maybe a little sticks uh, solo one day. Why not, you know? Go crazy with them. Actually, that was entirely improvised. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it just really fit so perfectly there. It's not on the record. Oh, you need this in? <laughs> Matt can't play the sticks. Capo coming through. <laughs> Bingo. Nice. Yeah. The big capo exchange across our huge studio. That's right. Do you want another song? I do. Okay, cool. Let me just Thank take you. this piece of crap off here. It's going oh, to. Yes, nice. Oh, very sweet. <sighs> oh, look. You're awake now. Rise from your grave. Good morning. For everybody tuning in on the airwaves, we've got our boy Pierce McGarry taking a nap beside uh, Joe's drums here. <laughs> what was that? Leave me alone. Okay, cool. <laughs> Y'all good? This next song we're going to play is called One More Love Song. Guess what? It's a love song. All right, here we go. Tell 
another shift Never thought it'd feel like this Another dream You put him down After all this time Turns out all you found was one more That was very nice. Cool. Thank you so much. Thanks, Cheryl. This old dog, the new album from Mac DeMarco, and you're going to be on tour for ever a long time. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Enjoy playing tonight at the Moore Theater. Thanks for coming by. Thank you for having us. Our pleasure. It's always great to see you. It's Mac DeMarco live on KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at kexp.org.